we all have a logical thinking being and an emotion-based being automatically behaving inside of us. They are important and are in operation at the same time, but just like in trading, the balance of power is not always equal. When these parts of ourselves are in balance, much like a ranging market, nothing out of the ordinary really happens. It's almost as if we are at peace. When the storm clouds gather and the emotionally based being overpowers the logical one, a chain reaction of destructive and irrational actions can be set off. And for traders, this is not a good thing. These two internal beings are within us, all of us, whether we like it or not. They do vary in their level of control over each individual's actions. And while it's important to recognize the emotional being for what it is and what in any particular case is causing it to become worked up, it's really crucial to your trading that you do not allow this emotional being to decide the course of action that you're going to take. Now, oftentimes your emotional being will take action that is the exact opposite of what your logical self is telling you what to do. Now, you can feel your emotional being getting excited when the market starts to move quick. You can see it acting when you want to double up on a silly position that you took because it only needs to come back a little bit to scratch the trade. And I'm sure your logical being would agree this is not the sensible course of action. But in the moment, and if we let it, our emotional beings can take control even just for a fraction of a second. But that's not enough for a click of the mouse and an oh shit moment to occur. It's not just applicable to the direct action of trading either. It's also highly noticeable when we're doing all of the supporting work for trading, or not doing, as the case may be, not taking the time to prepare properly. You're failing to go back and assess your performance. You're not doing enough to retain a level of physical fitness. You're trading when you know you're tired or you're under the weather. Maybe you had a few too many beers when you know you're trading the following day. And they can all have huge implications on the level of performance that you're able to sustain. And they can lead to knock-on emotional effects in your actual trading decisions. It is fundamentally important to your progress as a trader to be effective at removing or negating negative behaviors and reinforcing the positive behaviors from the two parts of your mind. Having your logical being remain in control of your actions, even when your emotional being is putting you under immense pressure to act, it's crucial. Now, even the very best traders are affected at times. And I'm sure that many traders out there have seen a picture of Paul Tudor Jones before where he had a note behind him that said, Losers, Average Losers. This is a direct reminder from his logical being to not engage with his emotional being when he's in a losing position. And this really illustrates the way to minimize emotional effects. And that is with self-awareness. He thought about the problem. Whether or not he's defined it as an emotional being reaction or not, doesn't matter. And then he's made efforts to remind himself visually so it becomes ingrained. And you must understand your actions from these two separate beings within yourself. And then identify your flashpoints where your emotional being overpowers your logical one. And by doing so, you plan to avoid these flashpoints and you can better recognize early signs before mistakes are made. Now, if we did all of the things which we know we should do in life, in general, we would be better off. But as trading is an endeavor that not only fails to reward those who don't do what they really should do, but they often punish them not doing what we should do can lead to perpetual underperformance and ultimately to your failure. So it's really important that you heed your emotions, but you do not let them take control of your trading or your rational, logical mind.